We all know the Jaguar Broadspeed from the new Avengers TV series of the 70s. In 1977 Broadspeed was asked to build a car for the series in the style of the Broadspeed race cars. In the process of doing so they used some leftover parts from the 1976 race car, and its earlier introduction version. The car they used was donated by Jaguar, Leyland at that time. And it was a pre-production car that had served as a workshop car for a while at the Jaguar plant at Browns Lane. The front spoiler was left over from the 1976 race car, the arches wear from the same molds as used on the race car. And the wheels were one-offs from the introduction car that were no good for racing because they lacked any cooling for the brakes. They did have to narrow the magnesium wheels because they could not find any tires for them. Also the wheels had to be modified to fit on normal road suspension, because the race car used centerlock bolts on the front to hold the wheel on. This was changed to the five bolt fitment with steel inserts in them and the center bore had to be enlarged to fit over the hub. Later in the TV series the car also got the rear spoiler of the 1977 race car. The car was painted in a Rolls-Royce green with a gold stripe over the side. Other than that, the car stayed standard, with its V12 engine on Stromberg carburetors, and an automatic gearbox even though the series made it sound like it had a manual gearbox. Hello. Hi. Tony Fields. That's right. I'd like to speak to him urgently. Sorry. He'll be out there for another hour. He won't come in even if I call him. He's just broken the lap record. Oh dear. I'll see if I can change his mind. Hey! We're nearly there, it's just around the corner. I didn't know policemen slept standing up. That one does. It's 95. The inoculations have made us immune. Which makes us the only people left in the city with their eyes open. After two seasons and 23 episodes the series ended. In total the car just got about 10 minutes of screen time, but stayed in our hearts and memories. Forever connected with John Steed, the secret agent working for an unnamed branch of the British intelligence. After the series ended, Steed's Jaguar was put up for sale by the production company, but even after it was on display at the NEC Classic Car Show in Birmingham it took a while before it was sold. The car was put in storage for a while and some wild stories did the rounds, of the car not being picked up, kids being brought to school in it, and more of those stories, but eventually the car disappeared from sight. Thanks for a beautiful evening, you wonderful man. Good night, Purdy. 
pence for a growing boy. Great girl. The best. In 2014, someone in the Jaguar community got in contact with me saying he knew where the car was, and that it may come up for auction in the near future. After a lot of persuasion I got him to show me a picture of the car in its current state. Sadly the car had suffered a lot over the years, as with any XJ Coupe it needed a full restoration. In this video, made by the auction house, they do as if it was a barn find. This was all staged for the auction. You can clearly see it had a lot of broken and missing parts. Just survive. I want to know all the answers. Still feel the design. Want to paint the picture without being criticized. A childhood memory, a blessing in disguise. A bleach blonde baby. No hope or ambition, just joy in his eyes. I guess he's still somewhere hidden inside, laughing and jumping and high as a tide. and jumping as high as a tide It is just sad to see the car in this state of disrepair, in the picture of 2014 the rear fiberglass bumper was under the rear wheel. I have not seen this part in any of the pictures of video. At the day of the auction the price was set at 10 to 15,000. But in the end it was sold for 69,750 pounds. It was then transported to Cheshire Classic Cars. Where it was stored till they had time to start restoring the car. The car was taken apart completely as can be seen in the last few pictures. And at the time I was in contact with the company because of a set of 76 race car wheels I had. These had been modified exactly the same way as the ones on the Avengers car. But suddenly the company went out of business and the car disappeared. I heard they were planning to put a 7-liter V12 engine with manual gearbox in the car, to give it the sound and speed the TV series made it look like having. In my eyes that would have been a mistake, because the car was so much more than a restomod. The car was significant in so many ways for Jaguar as the eighth build pre-production car, and for TV loving England as a symbol of everything that was the 60s and 70s. A bit of nostalgia. But all in all it's up to the current owner to do what he or she wants. I just hope that it will soon be shown again to the public in all its glory. Over the years, there have been a few replicas of the car. Build on the coupe platform and on the four-door. 
and just a few days ago another one was announced to be built with a V8 supercharged engine in it. Go and see it at Sports Car Story. Link in the descriptions. Looking forward to seeing it finished. Thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel. The next video will probably be the Broadspeed 1977 race cars. Followed by a video about Broadspeed XJ12C chassis number 2. Have a nice day.